Today, I'm going to share with you a story, a story which I learned since the childhood, the story of a superhero. No, not the ones you see on movies and television today, but one from the ancient Roman times. And the hero I'm talking about is Hercules. Now, who is Hercules? Originally, he was known as Heracles in Greek mythology. Hercules was the son of Zeus, king of the gods, and the mortal Achmene, the granddaughter of Perseus. Now, Hera, the other wife of Zeus, was jealous of Hercules because, Hercules, because Zeus designated him to be the next ruler of Greece. Hera used her means to make her favorite son, Eurystheus, to become king and induced Hercules to become mad and kill his wife and children. To atone for his sins, Hercules prayed to the god Apollo for guidance and also consulted the oracle at Delphi who told him to serve his brother Eurystheus his half-brother, all right, for 10 years. During these 10 years, Eurystheus commanded Hercules to carry out 12 tasks, which we now call the labors of Hercules. In order to carry out the task successfully, Hercules had to show bravery, use his knowledge and his problem-solving skills, and today we call these hard skills and soft skills. Hard skills are knowledge you can acquire from education and training, like technical skills. Soft skills are know-how gained from experience, like problem solving, communications, presentation, and so on. Now, why has the story of Hercules meant so much to me? When I first entered the world of information technology, after having been appointed as the Chief Information Officer or CIO in the Housing and Development Board. I was told that I had a Herculean task ahead of me. I didn't understand why my friends would tell me this until I embarked on my journey. It turned out that the job of a CIO really required a great combination of technical know-how, business knowledge, problem-solving skills and teamwork, very much like what Hercules needed in those days to complete his tasks. Today, I would illustrate what, what I meant by using six of the tasks that Hercules had to perform to relate to the tasks I had to perform as a CIO. I shall begin with the story of the Nemean lion. In this task, Hercules had to get the skin of the feared Nemean lion. When Hercules found the Nemean lion and shot arrows at it, they bounced harmlessly off the creature's impenetrable golden fur. When the lion returned to its cave, Hercules cleverly blocked out one of the two entrances of the cave and then stunned the lion through the other entrance and use his immense strength to strangle the lion to death. He then attempted to skin the lion with his knife, but the blade was not sharp enough. He sharpened the knife with the stone and even tried to skin the lion with the stone, but also in vain. Athena, protector of the heroes, noticing his plight, told Hercules to use one of the lion's claws to skin the lion, which worked. Now, this story taught me about the IT environment. The IT supports many mission-critical apps that help run the business. The CIO needs to ensure that all routine functions are working well and then resolve complex issues like major systems upgrade, system implementation, and so on. The impenetrable skin of the lion is akin to the high availability and quality cloak of the IT environment. 
the sharp claws of the lion are equal to the defenses that IT has to maintain to protect the business from cybersecurity attacks. I understood then that no matter how complex the environment was, my job was to maintain its integrity and keep the lights on so that the company can continue to function. The second story is about slaying the Lernaean Hydra. The Lernaean Hydra was raised by Hera to kill Hercules. When Hercules cut off one of the Hydra's heads, two others grew back in his place. Hercules had to turn to his nephew, Iolaus, for help. Iolaus came up with the idea, possibly inspired by Athena, of using firebrand to scorch the Hydra's neck stumps after each capitation. Hercules cut off each head. Iolaus cauterized the open stumps, thereby killing the Lernaean Hydra. This story taught me about the need to get to the root of each problem. The IT environment that I controlled consisted of many technologies, often from different vendors. My technical resources similarly come from multiple sources as some functions were outsourced. When these diverse systems and technologies do not work well together, it could result in having a monster like the Hydra. I might have tried to fix one problem and two other issues might have cropped up. Much like the Lernaean Hydra, I had to get to the root causes of the problem and sometimes engaged external expertise to troubleshoot and resolve them. If not, I might have more problems than I bargained for. The third story is Hercules' task to bring back the Arimantian boar alive to King Eurystheus. The boar is a huge, wild, fierce pig with tusks growing out of his mouth. The boar lived on the Arimantus mountain and every day it would come crashing down from his lair, attacking people and animals all over the land gouging them with his tusks and destroying everything in his path. Hercules went to Chiron for advice on how to catch the creature. Chiron told him, you had to drive the ball into a thick snow during winter to exhaust it. Using the method, Hercules finally caught the ball, bound it and carried it to King Eurystheus, who was scared of the beast and hid in his jar and begged Hercules, please get rid of the creature. Okay, what I learned from this story is not to be shy to seek advice or external expertise. In the course of my work, I had to introduce new technology or solutions and often had inadequate knowledge or in-house talent to get it done. I learned not to be shy to ask for advice either from my vendors or other professionals or consulting companies. Now, before I entered the IT profession, I was actually a civil and structural engineer. And that was why I was very active in the IT community to learn from others and also volunteer my services to the industry. The fourth story is Hercules' task to defeat the Stymphalian birds. Now, these were man-eating birds with beaks of bronze and sharp metallic furs that could actually tear apart their victims. The birds were sacred to Ares, god of war, and the dung of the birds was also highly toxic. Now, Hercules could not wade too far into the swamp where the birds were to kill them, as the swamp could not support his massive weight. Athena, noticing his plight, gave Hercules a rattle made by Hephaestus. 
Hercules shook the loud rattle and frightened the birds. When they tried to fly away, Hercules shot a bunch of them with poisonous arrows, and the rest of the flock flew far away, never to return. This story told me that I had to break down a complex problem before I could solve it. The problem had multiple moving parts, in, and Hercules had to break down the problem into smaller components and solve each first before going for the kill. In IT, sometimes a problem looks huge, and it could be huge, such as a significant cybersecurity attack or significant outage. You can't solve the problem at one go, so you have to break it down into smaller components and fix each small issue first before you go for the big one. In the case of a significant system slowdown, it could be due to legacy applications or massive loads on the servers or inadequate storage or some servers not functioning or malware or a dozen other reasons. As the CIO, I needed to have a bird's eye view of my IT systems and narrow down the possible causes of the problem. Whether it was simple or it was complex, at least I had a handle on the problem. The fifth story is Hercules' task to steal the mass of Diomedes. The mad mass of Diomedes were four horses that ate humans. They belonged to a giant named Diomedes, king of Thrace, son of Ares and Cyrene. Hercules brought several volunteers to help him capture the giant horses. After overpowering Diomedes' men, Hercules broke the chains that tethered the horses and drove them down to the sea. Eventually, they were captured by Hercules after killing Diomedes and feeding Diomedes to the horses, as the horses need to calm down by eating human flesh. Oh. Anyway, in this story, I learned about collaboration. Hercules enlisted volunteers to help out with a pesky problem. The volunteers decided to chip in for three reasons. One, the mad mares were causing issues across the city that affected everyone. Two, it was apparent that the volunteers by themselves could not tackle the mad mares. And thirdly, they believed in the leadership skills of Hercules to lead them to victory. Those three points are precisely similar to issues that most organizations face in dealing with complex IT problems, which are akin to the mad mares that impact all stakeholders. IT by itself cannot handle all of the issues because it may have roots in other business units, such as finance, sales, marketing, logistics, and so on. As a leader, I understood that I needed to get teams from all specific business units to collaborate to solve the business problems that allowed me to implement a system for the organization. My final story is Hercules' task to steal three golden apples from the garden of the Hesperides. When Hercules got to the garden, he encountered Atlas, who was holding up the heavens on his massive shoulders. Hercules cajoled Atlas to help him get the three golden apples and offered to hold the sky for him. When Atlas returned with the apples, he did not want to take the heavens back from Hercules and offered to deliver the apples to the king instead. Hercules had to trick Atlas by asking him to hold the sky for a moment while he adjusted his cloak. Atlas agreed. Hercules heaved the heavens back on Atlas' shoulders and quickly fled with the golden apples. Well, the two lessons I learned here from Hercules' encounter with Atlas was one, the need to delegate effectively. The other is to ensure that the right person 
takes responsibility for the task and its outcome. The process of digital transformation requires the cooperation of the business units with IT. Often the BUs think that they can leave it to IT to develop and manage the IT systems. It is delegated, IT is delegated the task of development, but when the system is completed, the ownership of the system must be transferred back to the BUs who are the best people to operate the systems to the organization's advantage. Much like Hercules, who took over the chore for a while and transferred the heavens back to its rightful owner, IT as the temporary custodian of information systems during development must transfer the ownership back to the original BU after implementation, as they would be the people who will operate these systems for the benefit of the organization. The other stories about the rest of Hercules' labors have also lessons for the CIO, like thinking outside the box, persistence pace, aim for win-win outcomes, and so on. Lessons for the CIO are not uniquely hidden in ancient Greek mythology. We just have to look around us in the world to find hidden gems of wisdom uh, in everyday life. To be a successful CIOs, one must continually upgrade our hard skills and continually hone our soft skills so that in this way, we'll be able to do justice to the important tasks placed on our shoulders to digitalize and transform the business using information technology. I thank you for your attention.